A to Z in relationships, day 26. Yes, the last day, alphabet Z. But before we go there, I just want to thank you, everybody who has been following with me last 25 days. Just want to thank you. Thank you for your messages. They are very encouraging to me. Just have one more request. If you can just let me know which alphabet, which day or which word impacted you the most, I'll be very happy and glad to know that. And I also would like to remind you, any of you want to join any of my sessions on relational intelligence or identity, freedom, leadership, mind, you can please get in touch with me. Okay, alphabet Z, the word for today is zero balance. <laughs> zero balance. I thought I'll use little mathematics in our relationships because the word zero is a very neutral word. It's neither negative nor positive. It has no pluses or minuses. It's neutral. It's a balanced word. I know to hear zero balance or to see zero balance reflecting on your savings account, it's not a very happy sight. But if you ask somebody who is using a credit card, he will let you know that zero balance is a very pleasant sight. That means you don't have any payments left to do and you don't have any new charges. Your credit card balance is now zero. Happy. I think, uh, I was just thinking, if it's my last message I can give on relationship, what it should be. So I just searched my heart and this is what I'm sharing is what I really want to share if it's the last message on relationships. Zero balance means having nobody in our life who we are angry or upset or bitter or you know, we have not forgiven them and other side, no regrets. Anybody who we have hurt, we have apologized, we have uh, reconciled our relationship, everything sorted. Have a clear balance, have a clear account in our relationship is very important. This is something which uh, was birthed in my heart 11 years ago, 2009, I still remember, maybe it was March somewhere. So what I did, I realized that I have some people in my life and my relationship account is not clear. There are a lot of people coming in my mind who I am bitter, angry and uh, I have not forgiven them and there were also people coming in my mind who I thought I have hurt them, I have hurt their feelings. So I am not talking about people being offended, let them be offended. But some people who really cared about me or uh, loved me but I still did something sad and bad and not a good thing and I need to ask for forgiveness, apologize. So I had all these faces and names in my heart. So what I did? That time Facebook was the thing and I realized each and every person in my mind is on Facebook. So I prepared two kind of messages. One, I said, I forgive you, release you, no problem, I'm very happy for you. If we meet sometime in life, I would uh, be smiling at you. Like that, some message I made. And another message I created, apologizing, saying sorry that, you know, so and so day, so and so years back. I said something, I did something, it's still in my heart, I just want to say sorry, I want to apologize for that. So these two messages I created and I sent some people this message number one and some people message number two. Some people replied, some people didn't reply, but my heart was at ease. My heart was satisfied. So this is my last message I, and I really want to encourage you today. Keep your accounts clear. Not only because life is short, but it's good for your soul. It's good for the joy and peace of your soul. Keep your accounts clear. If you have anybody in your mind or in your heart or in your life who you are angry, upset, bitter, they did something, you didn't like it, you're still having that uh, bitterness, unforgiveness in your heart, please, I request you, encourage you, for your betterment, release them, forgive them. And if there is anybody who's coming in your mind who you have regrets with, I could have done things better, I should not have spoken like that, done this thing, please approach them and just message them and say sorry. They might not even remember if you did something sad, but still just say sorry I did something. But please don't approach people who you are forgiving. Just forgive them in your heart. You don't need to call somebody or message somebody, oh I was very hurt and now I'm forgiving you. Don't do that foolish things. Don't approach people who you are forgiving. Just forgive them with all your heart. Don't wait for their sorries. Don't wait for anything. Just release them. Forgive them for your betterment. And on the other hand, if there are some people who you have hurt, not offended, but hurt, just 
get in touch with them and say sorry i did something years back or months back i'm sorry about that see don't keep things in your heart it's not good for you just release them and ask forgiveness so two things today i am encouraging you to do one is forgive second is apologize wherever is required whatever is required forgive and apologize relationships are most important you can forget everything you can have a lot of things and things will come and go but relationships are very important and for life you can have everything but no one to share it with it's very miserable so please take care of your relationships find the beauty on relationships don't suffer through but enjoy with through your relationship have the beauty and joy and peace in your relationships and every relationship is workable you just have to open your heart and just connect and just communicate okay so this is where i end my series of a to z in relationships i'm thankful to god he gave me the strength and wisdom to speak and do whatever i could do i'll come back next time with another series or whatever i don't know i have not yet decided but thank you for joining me last thing forgive who you want to forgive don't approach them forgive them with your heart and if somebody is in your life you want to apologize say sorry no bitterness no regrets keep your accounts clear zero balance in relationships take care god bless you i'll see you sometime i don't know when but take care bye bye